Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the PR5000 V2 that is right behind me and specifically what I think about the clear coat colorway and is it a good color? Is it a good material or should you go with something else? So the rag behind me, I've had it for over a year now. Um, I started my home gym in April of 2020 and then that was a rogue rack. Um, I sold it a few months later, I think in May, if I'm not mistaken. Um, don't quote me on that. I haven't checked my uh, videos of when I purchased the rep rack, but it was definitely over a year ago and I've had the chance to use it for over a year, almost two years now uh, with this specific rack. So um, my general thoughts about it is it is very, very good. It looks really good. I really like the red and clear coat combo. I think any kind of color with the clear coat would match whether you pick blue uh, or black or red or whatever other color there is. Um, I think it would look good with the clear coat. I also like clear coat all around. So if you got the whole rack clear coated, I think that would look great. And actually I should probably check if they still sell the clear coat because I'm not sure. I haven't checked in a while, but if they do, I highly recommend it. There are a few things that I want to talk about in this video though, that I'm going to show you guys right now. All right. So this clear coat right here, as you guys can see, it's really, really shiny. Um, it looks really clean. Um, I really enjoyed the look of it over the past few uh, months and about two years now and if you guys are interested in how it looks i do have a lot of videos with it as well it's not all perfect and so for example uh i'll show you guys right here i've got a few scratches it's not really visible too much in the video but in person uh you can see it from pretty far away um on 24 on hole 24 i also uh, have a few scratches and that's just because um this is the hole that I use for my Jacobs when I'm squatting. So hopefully you guys can see that in the video. And so it does get scratched up a little bit. This side is also scratched up. This is where I use my uh, Jacob for the bench press. But overall, everything else looks really, really good in terms of scratches and stuff like that. Just regular wear and tear. It looks really good. This back post, uh, really never gets used um, so it's really clean and it looks brand new still the black I've had this black cross member for the lat and low row for uh, a few months now um, and it hasn't gotten scratched this is all just chalk right here so the black really holds up really well and then the red as you guys can see if I'm gonna set up my barbell here it gets scratched up just by moving on the bar or moving on the cross members a little bit so the red seems to get scratched up a little bit more. And uh, when I think about it, this looks a lot worse, I think, in my opinion, than the scratches that you guys saw on the clear coat. So these are really not that bad. Um, obviously, I wish it, it didn't exist at all. But um, when you compare it to the red and how the red looks, this looks a lot older for whatever reason. Well, actually it's, it's an obvious reason because it gets discolored. And so it makes it look a lot older than it actually is while this one just gets scratched. So if you have the opportunity to buy uh, a clear coat rack, I think you should definitely pull the trigger on it. I think it looks really good. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. It's held up very well. Again, this is the PR5000 V2. They do sell the PR4000. Uh, which is a little bit cheaper than this. I've really enjoyed this one. Uh, my friend, I remember he had a PR4000 um, and it was a little bit wobblier than this one, uh, but still it was a really strong rack uh, and it held up really, really nice. I have the lat low row, which has been great. I also have the barbell holder at the top. This one I need to put it on the inside because every single time I bench or squat, the plate actually hits this and it feels really weird and awkward. So I have to switch that and put it on the inside. But other than that, that has been really great. Uh, and then I have some white horns. These are the 12 inch uh, white horns. And then that is the six inch white horn. It has a two and a half, a five, a 10 and a 25 on it. I need to get a few more pairs. Actually, I, I probably will get the 12 inch ones just because they hold more weight. So if I ever add more weight, I could store them on there. But yeah, really stable rack, looks really good. The clear coat is amazing and it holds up to scratches pretty well. And you really can't notice it from, from too far as you guys can see in this video. The only thing I see right now from this angle is again, 
these uh, scratches right here which i'm pretty sure you could kind of buff a little bit and make it look a little better if you really wanted to maybe after years of use but uh, as of right now i think they look really really good but if you guys have any questions uh, about this rack or anything like that let me know in the comment section um and yeah if you guys are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and inshallah i'll see you guys in the next one peace